हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम योर फ्रेंड अशफाक एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट द डॉकर इमेज ऑफ द एस टी एम एल अप्लीकेशन एंड देन हाउ टू रन द कंटेनर यूजिंग दैट इमेज लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड आई हैव क्रिएटेड वन ओबंतु ई सी टू इंस्टेंस ऑन द ए डब्ल्यू एस एंड आई हैव टेकन द एस एस एच ऑफ दैट ई सी टू इंस्टेंस और द पुटी फ्रॉम माई लोकल सिस्टम यू कैन रिफर टू दिस वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू क्रिएट द लिनक्स ई सी टू इंस्टेंस ऑन द ए डब्ल्यू एस एंड हाउ टू एक्सेस इट वी आर पुटी फ्रॉम योर लोकल विंडोज सिस्टम on this ubuntu machine uh, i am having docker running if i do the system ctl status docker so you can see docker is running on my system on this ubuntu machine if i give the command docker ps so you can see uh, there is no container running uh, on this system and if i do the docker images so you can see there is no docker image present on my system you can refer to this video on how to install the docker on the linux and uh, what are the basic commands of the docker the link of both these videos i will provide you in the description so i will go to browser i will open the new tab and i will go to this website free-css.com for example i will take this template i will go to this template i will right click on the download i will copy the link so as of now i am uh, inside the uh, ubuntu folder ubuntu directory i will create one new directory here my hyphen website i will go to this web, uh, this directory and i will give you the command w get i will paste the copied link here and i will hit enter which will download the html website data uh, in this zip format if i do the ls here uh, i'm having the uh, html application in zip format i will give the command to unzip this folder unzip so unzip done so this is the unzip folder i will go to this folder so this is the complete website uh, html application data i will copy this content uh, to the one directory back cp hyphen r complete content one directory back so i will go back and do the ls so all the data has been copied here i will now delete the zip file and the duplicate folder rm have fun rf 
zip file and the folder which is not required if i do the ls again those are gone and i'm having the application html application data present here so our first target is to create the docker file and using that docker file we will create the docker image and using that image we will run the container so to create the uh, docker image we will first go ahead and create the uh, docker file and uh, this is actually the html application which will run on the httpd so in the docker file we will have to pull the image of the httpd if i go to hub dot docker dot com and if i search here httpd so this is the image if i go to this image and here you can find the instructions for creating the docker file so to pull the image we will have to give this command from and uh, copy present directory to the working directory so i will go ahead and i will create one uh, create one file here docker file and i will copy this from httpd colon 2.4 and i will paste it here and then i will give the another line copy everything from this directory to the working directory i will save this file and close it if i do the ls here so we have created the docker file now we have to create the docker image using this file i will give the command docker build with the content complete content of this directory and tag it my hyphen website colon latest so this would be my command to create the image i will hit enter it is creating the docker image so if i give the command now docker images so you can see our image has been created my hyphen website now we have to run the container using this docker image to run the container i will give the command docker run hyphen d means in the background hyphen p to map the port so we will map the port 80 of the container to the port 80 of the host and then image name so 
so this is my complete command to run the container using the image which we created i will hit enter if i give the command docker ps so you can see our container is running i will go to my ec2 instance so if i go to security security groups so note down one thing here in my security group i am having port 80 already allowed in the inbound rules i will go back to ec2 instance and i will copy the public ip address of the instance and i will browse it here on the new tab so you can see our application is uh, running and we are able to browse it over the browser on the port 80 by this way you can create the uh, docker file for the html application and then you can create the uh, docker image using docker file and then you can run the container and you can have the uh, html application running successfully uh, on the container hope you find this video helpful like the video share it with the friends and spread the knowledge subscribe to channel i look forward you to join me in the next video thank you